Alright, good morning, good evening, and welcome back to another Inukiba Let's Play. As always, I am Inukiba, and today we are back on Beetleback Farm, Stardew Valley, modded series. Um, I think I've decided that I'm going to try to aim for about two days or so, uh, roughly 30 minutes, uh, give or take, uh, per actual day of play, or per recording. Um, I'm not going to hold to that in any particular... Um, uh, word that makes sense there. Um, <laughs> uh, I am still recording this all as part of like the same session. Um, so there's still no guarantee that this will be any sort of long-term series. Um, but this would be the equivalent of, I believe, episode three. So. We got at least a bit of a start going. Um, what can we do today? It would probably make sense to get some foraging done so that we can get some money. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind buying some more beetles, but uh, I don't really have the expos or disposable income here. And there's still a handful of people I can talk to that I haven't met yet. Primarily, Haley, Penny. I haven't met Penny yet? Jeez. Uh, Haley, Penny, Elaine, Maru, Rasmodius, Jazz, Marnie, Marlin, Victor, and Sophia. Um... We can probably we can probably head south out of the farm. We can run into Marley, probably Jazz, um, and Sophia. We'll make our way in town, and hopefully run into the others there. Um, that's the plan for the day, I think. So we don't need these. Don't need that. I'll take the training rod with me. Um. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. That's the plan for the day. I see that I'm gonna need my hoe. I know I shouldn't throw that away, but I'm lazy. I feel bad because that stuff's probably gonna get thrown away now. Um, Mer it's locked. Of course it is. Well, I'm gonna cut down your grass. Should be open now. <laughs> Hello, Marnie. Shop supplies. Oh. Wait, what? Hey, yo. What? I didn't know you sold more shit. Um. I mean, fuck it. Do we want to do this? Spring or summer takes eight days to produce sweet smelling flowers, keeps producing after the first harvest, grows on a trellis. Uh, I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. And then. Uh, if we were planting in a nine by nine, so six of these? Sure. Oh, okay. I was I wasn't expecting that, honestly. Oh, sorry. 
that 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 was my bad. I had my sword; it fell out of its sheath. I'm sorry. Uh. Oh, this looks all nice now. Like a little reading nook. This is actually like really comfortable looking. Chronicles of Sharnia. Interesting. I want to say hi to Jazz because I haven't met her yet, but I don't want to wait outside a kid's bedroom. <laughs> it's like waiting for them to get out so I can talk to them. That's that's a bit that's a bit far. So we'll just head uh we'll head around. Oh, I see a bug. Oh, I see another bug. Let's go say hi to the wizard right now. If he'll let us. It won't let us. So we can't talk to him until we know about the Junimo. Bloop, bloop. Bloop. Oop, bloop. Hell yeah. Lots of nice specimens we find today. That's what's missing. I've been playing with like lo-fi. Usually in the background, but I don't know how I, how I could get if I could get away with that with uh, YouTube. I'm sure I could find like a copyright free lo-fi playlist to play in the background, but I guess for now we'll just use the in-game music. The in-game music is good, so songs on the whole track. <laughs> around people I haven't met before. My name's Sophia. I'm the owner of Blue Moon Vineyard. Um, well, I guess I'll see you around. Indeed. Good luck. Oop. Gonna snag this leak from your property. I don't know what you like, so I can't give you a gift. I'm sorry. I don't know much about you yet. Um, to the beach. Let's go to the beach. Beach. Let's go away. Um, and of course, my pockets are full. So let's actually head up to Pierre's. Probably should have saved that for the backpack before I bought shit from Marnie. Hi, Sam. I can, uh, no. 
Here. There's clutter in my pockets. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, hello. I haven't met you yet. Oh, hey there. You're the new owner of Beetleback Farm. I'm Victor. It's a pleasure to meet you. Olivia, is it? Indeed it is. I share your mother's name, apparently. It was entirely accidental, by the way. Hello, Elaine. Ah, the new farmer. We've all been expecting whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elaine. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. You likewise. When I originally started playing Stardew, I didn't like... Um... I did not like Elliot, uh, slash Elaine in this case. Um, okay, so yeah, you can see that these sell for, uh, 60 apiece, which isn't terrible. These sell for 90, this sells for 100, so they can actually be worth some money here. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to these, well, yeah, I'm gonna hold on to them. Um, I want to see what else you have probably get another grub, but I don't, it feels like it's a late start now. Um, I could go with some flowers. Or, I could grow hemp, hemp or tobacco. I won't be doing that. I could get beef seeds, <laughs> or meat seeds. Uh, it could be interesting. I think I'm gonna save up for a backpack. I should be able to afford it tomorrow regardless. Um, oop, God damn it, I hate doing that. Alright, I've talked to a YouTube already. Happy to buy any produce off you, I'll give you a fair price, of course. I don't believe you. Um, so we've talked to George, apparently we're very good friends with George. <laughs> I just happen to know he likes leaks, so. Um, we're also pretty good friends with Leah they're at the top of the list here. Uh, Harley. Maybe we will go for Harley. Harley's pretty cute. Oh, you're locked. Okay. Oh, hi everybody in town. Um, let me buy... I'm gonna buy a coffee for Harley. Um... I was about to just start spending so I could get gifts for people, but then I thought about it. Oh my god, you have so many fucking recipes. We will get all of these eventually. Um, we'll make that a goal. Just cause. I hope you're farming in a sustainable way. The valley's ecosystem is fragile. I disagree. How do I know? I have a strong gut feeling. Okay. Hello, other Olivia. Working a corporate job in the city was a different chapter of my life. Uh, no, I never worked at Joja. That's strange. Isn't that what Morris told me? Oh. Oh, you were talking to. Can, 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 ignore me. Um. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if I can get Pierre to cook dinner tonight. You should get him to cook. Oh, wait, have, 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 oh, hi. I had to talk to you today. Sorry. Hello, Evelyn. Big cookies. Oh, hello, Penny. You're cute. Penny is so fucking cute in this portrait pack. Like, Penny's cute always, but like, she's so fucking cute here. Um, oh, hello, I'm Penny. Hi, I'm Penny. Hi, I'm Penny. Um, is Haley at home? I think Haley might be the one of the last people we gotta talk to. She doesn't seem to be here. Where would Penny be? Or Haley be? Haley is entering town square. I don't really like using that mod too much. It does feel a little creepy. <laughs> oh, you're the new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Um, oh, uh, I'm Haley. Hmm, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be pretty. Actually, never mind. 
Uh, I know a lot of people don't really like Haley either. Uh, again, I don't really like her that much, but I know she gets better, so... I feel like most of what she does is sort of like a self-defense mechanism. Um, so I'm not really that upset with her at, about her. Uh, the only people I need to meet are my cousin, the child, and the Adventurer's Guild guy. Uh, we'll get there. And, and the wizard, but we can't meet the wizard yet. Um, so let's go ahead and plant these new crops here. Because I did not know that Marnie sold crops in this. I don't know which mod adds these to her option. I didn't give this to Harley. We'll head back into town and hang out with people at the tavern. That'll probably be what we do most nights. Just hang out with people at the tavern. Because why not? You know? Uh, we could fish, too. Is Harvey at the tavern? Harvey is in the clinic, and we're not allowed in there. Susan's up there, Marlin. So tomorrow the cave should be open, as well as the community center. What's Leah doing all the way over there? Uh, we could go deeper into the forest today. I don't really have that much time left. Elaine went back to her house. We could go to the beach and fish. But we can also just fish here. this. Why is this showing up with a question mark on the map? Um, let's just do some fishing. Yeah, let's just, let's just do some fishing. We're gonna catch mostly trash, um, but I want to get the level up. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I know we're only gonna catch trash, and I don't want to waste the time. Let's just chop down some trees and shit. Cause we're just about to level up there. All right. I'm gonna keep forgetting that. We'll just spend the night fighting. I mean, getting a combat level up wouldn't be a terrible... Oh, you don't get levels from these. What's the point? Other than mob drops, I guess? Why would you want to... Mob drops and challenge? I don't know. I don't know. just call it for the night. We don't need to push every day to the timer, you know? Nine o'clock, that's a good point to call it for a bedtime.
Glass jar. What can I use a glass jar for? And how do I make it? Crafting recipes. All right, let's look at what we can craft. Wood fences, gates, chest. Okay, so that's normal. Wine yeast, using a potato. Okay. Uh, yeast, using barley malt. I don't know how to get that. Uh, we could craft a joint if we grew some pot. <laughs> An espresso machine, an extruder, smoker, blender, juicer. Okay, we got a lot of shit here. What is this glass jar? A jar to ferment non-alcoholic beverages turns mushroom and various teas into kombucha. I don't know what kombucha is. Like IRL. I, I don't know what that means. all kinds of shit. Well, we can't make any of this stuff, though, right now. Uh, oh, hi, Marnie. Hello, Olivia. You see this dog here? Um. No. I do not see a dog. I see a really cool tegu. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray. Poor thing. Yeah, people dumping exotic pets that they can't handle anymore. It's pretty pretty bad. But it seems to like this place. Hey, um, don't you think you could use a good farm dog? It's not a dog, but I'll take it. Snooch? No. Um, Khaki? That's not too bad. Metsomo? Una fanumo. Fanumo. Neb. Ooh. I... You know what? I like Neb. We're gonna go with Neb. We'll call him Neb, but his name will be Nebula. Alright. Oh, I see our parsnips are done. My name is Susan. Lewis told me you're the new farmer trapped in my mountain house. Gotcha. Uh... The mines are open, and... Robin is advertising. Aunt Robin, come on. Give me a deal. Uh, that got me to level one farming. I got 16 parsnips. Uh, I can sell those. I'll probably keep five. Just for like gifting and stuff. Have I given Caroline two gifts today, this week? No. We'll go ahead and take a thing to her. Um, do we want to head to the mines today? Something we haven't really looked at. Oh, a little bit of lag. So I'll get these going. Alright. Um. If we're going to the mines, we don't need the axe. Damn it. I do that shit all the fucking time. Let's head into town. Actually, you know what? Let's 
go the other way. Well, no, let's go say hi to Carolyn. Well, <laughs> you know what? No, let's let's just go straight to the mine. Well, no, let's go this way. <laughs> Sorry. Um, hello, I'm a little busy right now. Maybe we can talk later. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Um, yeah, this is why I ended up deciding to go this direction. I was like, it should be unlocked. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi there. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful, really. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But, listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Joja Corporation's been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Peloton Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh well. If anyone else buys, jo buys a Joja Co. Uh, membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. Sorry. Here, let's go inside. Uh, by the way, I'm, the reason I'm giving him this like sort of pseudo Irish voice is because uh, one of the Let's Plays I was watching, somebody else gave him like basically a Jack Decepticeye voice, and I found it so fitting that I can't see it any other way now. So that's why I'm giving him this voice. Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jaws have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. What? What's the matter? Are you ill? No, I saw a thing. It looked like a big bug. You saw something? Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rots. Again, my accent is all over the place. I know, and I apologize. <laughs> There's a big problem whenever I run D&D too. All my accents start sounding samey uh, and don't really match anything. You're worrying me. You're worrying me, Olivia. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. I look tired. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked for now. Maybe you can uh, catch that rat if you have some extra time. And then it throws me back to the entrance of this place. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Oh, it did put me right outside. Okay. I really like the animated hair. It's really cute. We the Junimo are We the Junimo are H A H A I actually can't remember how to read that. <laughs> Sorry, I, I stood there for way too long trying to decipher that, and I do not remember the cipher. 
Oh, hi, Michael. Finally, it's Friday, baby. While you're here, Olivia, answer me this: Who's your favorite? Fr who's your favorite mytholo mycological friendo? Is it I, Michael the Amanita, or perhaps Old Man Morielli? Uh, it's you, bro. That's always good to hear. And while you're here, take this for the road. What? Here. Means a lot. Thanks, friendo. I like Michael. I didn't know he could give you shit, though. That's dope. Hey, player. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, can someone bring me carp? I love them. Elaine? I will try. Also, I did not know that Elliot liked carp. I could sell that. But it was a gift. No, I'll sell these. Hello! Wow, I just realized it's Friday. Sometimes I totally lose track of time. Oh, sorry. Get that out of my hand. <laughs> Hello, Caroline. Good morning. It's a fine looking day. On days like this, I like to help Evelyn with the public gardens. She's strong for her age, but I think she appreciates all the help, appreciates all the help she can get. Uh, probably. Oh, goodness. Are you sure? Yes. I want to be friends with you. Partially for the recipe, but also just because I think you're cool. Alright. So this episode's going to run a little bit long. Oh, hi, Sophia. Are you going to the doctor? Oh, hello. Picking up my medication from Dr. Harvey. Oh. I'm sorry to pry. Speaking of, I would like to go see Dr. Harvey. Harvey. Harley. Um, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? It is. I wish I had less work to do. I mean, same? For me? Actually, I didn't have that much work to do today. Uh, Maru is the only other person I haven't really talked to. Other than the wizard, but I can't talk to him until tomorrow. I think I've even talked to Shane. Jeez. Or not Shane. Uh, the main truth. Or not fucking Christ. Jazz and Maru and Marlin. I'm about to go talk to Marlin. This is probably out by the swing. Maru might be home. Oh, hi, Michael. Where are you going? Maru's home. Okay. Hi, Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? Maru. We used to do, like, field projects together. What are you talking about? I know I haven't been here for, like, four years, but come on. You guys, you're lucky your family. <laughs> Again, this is like supposed to be a little bit of light RP. Uh, she's a little shy, but I'm sure she'll warm up to you if you're nice to her. Probably. Is she downstairs? Yep, but I am not allowed in. All right, let's go mining. Maybe we can find some unique bug specimens down here. Oh, hello, Linus, I think your name was? Obviously, I know his name is Linus. Uh, please don't destroy my tent. Why would I destroy your tent? That's brutal. Who destroyed your tent? We'll kick their ass. Unless it was Michael. Then you probably are just gonna have to deal with it because I'm not gonna hurt Michael. <laughs> I like Michael. I 
was just wondering how far down this mine shaft goes. I'm going to take care of some of the monsters in here before they start climbing out into the valley. I've met a lot of adventurers in my time, I recognize that look in your eye. Old age hasn't robbed me of my eyesight, or my skill with the sword. Quite, yet. I mean, I guess not fully. You are wearing an eye badge, though. Take this weapon. It may not look like much, but it's imbued with magic. With it, you'll be able to battle the monsters here. You received Rusty Sword. I actually found a better sword in the woods. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself, and I th might think about making you a member. Alright, so let's go ahead and head into the mines. Honestly, I'm just gonna trash that. I could sell it for a few bucks, but it's not worth it. day. Hell yeah. I know that probably looked OP, but it was, uh, you gotta aim that shit pretty well. Ooh, what a fascinating specimen. Fortunately, uh, invasive species, so it must be eradicated. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know why I would bother killing bugs as my current background. We'll just say that they are an invasive species and I have to get rid of them, unfortunately. Because all bugs are cool, but these ones are hurting the ecosystem. That'll be the excuse. Alright, we should actually get a letter from Clint tomorrow now. Ooh, cave carrot, nice. Oh, two cave carrots, actually. Let's see how far we can get down this first day. I'm not gonna hope for a whole lot here. Uh, but it'd be interesting to see how far down we can get. I obviously want to get all the copper I can. Ooh, an amethyst that I cannot pick up. we can make it to at least 410. And I actually need the slime for making that glass jar, because that seemed interesting. I don't actually know what it does. And again, I don't know what kombucha is, so uh, the description doesn't help. you dodge my attack. I always 
find slimes a very interesting monster when it comes to fantasy. Um, because, like, they're kind of treated in most fantasy as, like, the simple, basic, like, just sort of mindless monster kind of thing. Um, which I find relatively interesting, honestly. Um, but, like, in D&D, &D, for example, uh, they are usually pretty fucking dangerous. Oops, I didn't actually mean to do that. Um, I can't think of a, an instance of a slime that is not that dangerous in D&D. &D. Um, which again, I find relatively interesting. Um, uh, but like, even like on a sort of pseudoscience level of like fantasy biology they kind of make sense to me in a weird way like I, I know slimes obviously don't exist in the real world but I think they could uh, because they're essentially just giant single celled organisms uh, or very simple multicellular organisms um, I think the reason they wouldn't work uh, in real life is because they'd be they'd be so big that their cell membranes wouldn't be able to hold their hold them together um, I think would be the reason that that wouldn't really work I, I, I don't know I'm talking out my ass I don't actually know anything what I'm talking about uh, but like I think about that kind of shit a lot especially when it comes to like fantasy or sci-fi I try to apply as much real life or like real world logic to it, um, and I think slime monsters could be a thing. Like, like think of jellyfish. Essentially, they'd be very equivalent to jellyfish, in my mind. Um, ooh, you know what? We'll eat the mushroom. Uh, I didn't give as much as I thought it would. Oh yeah, check this out. Alright, so obviously daggers are usually pretty bad because the aiming mechanic <laughs> in Stardew is kind of shit. Um, but this throws like a fucking array of daggers that bounce off of shit and do damage. Uh, I'm actually going to head back. I know we could, could keep going, but... My inventory's full. I don't have a reason to go that deep this early. Um, but yeah, I, I, I find I find slimes relatively interesting as a concept. Um, I could think of them at like I could see them being a real thing, um, which I really like when it comes to like fantasy. I like the possibility that it could be real. I know that's dumb. You know, in a sort of like, in a way, um, I didn't bring my fishing rod. Oh, it went away anyway. Um, but that's like one of the reasons I really like uh, Dragon Rise of Pern so much, because it is a, a beautiful marriage of sci-fi and fantasy. Uh, so there's like logical science to it, but there's also the fantasy aspect of like, yeah, it's fucking dragons. <laughs> but, um, they're, they're bound in logic. They make sense. They don't just, they don't fall on the back, like the, the excuses of like, oh, well, because magic. You know? Um, anytime there's a system or a story or something that, like, just uses the excuse of like, oh, because magic. Uh, that always really just bothers me because it, it's such a lazy way to approach things. I don't know what rant I'm going on. Look, we got our little tegu. Oh, God damn it! Fucking <laughs> stop doing that. Um, is this dagger any good? One to five. Eight to eighteen. No, it's not better. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and call that session here. Ooh, we can make a scarecrow. Nice. Uh, and a cherry bomb. 
Um, I, I, I don't know what that weird tangent I went on at the end there was, but I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, bye-bye.